students welcome to drishti ias my name is saloni nand keolier and in this session we are going to talk about vikram 1 what is vikram 1 and why is it so important for india so vikram 1 is india's first private orbital rocket it is india's first private orbital rocket we'll see what an orbital rocket is but for now please know that this uh, vikram 1 it was unveiled by our prime minister earlier this morning and it has been developed by kairut aerospace kairut aerospace is a startup based out of hyderabad so vikram 1 has been built by kairut aerospace and it is india's first private orbital rocket and this is three staged it is a three staged solid fuel rocket we will talk about all these things but let's start with the first thing i told you this is privately built so something significant happened in 2020 for the indian space sector because 2020 was the year when private players were formally inducted into the indian space sector before 2020 these private players could only act as vendors vendors to isro they could not independently build satellites or build launch vehicles but after their induction into the indian space sector in 2020 after 2020 they have been able to build these satellites build satellites build rockets etc and all these private players are managed by a regulatory authority which is in space now what has the induction of these private players in the space sector done it has basically freed up a lot of time for isro isro now has the bandwidth to work more to focus more on deep research related to the space sector because these building activities can now also be taken care of by the private players and that's exactly what people uh, what companies like skyroot aerospace they are doing and they're doing wonders in this thing because in 2000 22 itself 2022 sky route aerospace built vikram s which was a sub orbital rocket 2022 vikram s and now in 2025 we have vikram 1 which is an orbital rocket it is responsible for placing small satellites small satellites in the low earth orbit because the payload capacity here is some few hundred kilograms apt for small satellites it is going to place these small satellites in the low earth orbit now do you know the difference between a sub orbital rocket and an orbital rocket so a sub orbital rocket is only going to touch the space it is going to touch the space and then it is going to come back because it does not have the adequate horizontal capacity to reach the earth's orbit and keep moving there it is only going to do what it will cross the karman line karman line which is our boundary for space 100 kilometers above the earth surface it will cross the karman line it will reach the space and then it will come back it will not have the adequate horizontal velocity to keep moving in the earth's orbit this is a sub orbital rocket versus in a fully orbital rocket what is going to happen this rocket is going to have the adequate orbital velocity the adequate horizontal velocity to enter the earth's orbit and keep moving there here we are talking about the low earth orbit so the orbital velocity should match the low earth orbit in the fully orbital rocket their orbital velocity is going to match the orbit that they're targeting over here for vikram 1 it is the low earth orbit so its horizontal velocity its orbital velocity so it should match the orbital velocity of the low earth orbit which is going to happen and that is why vikram 1 will be able to move in the earth's orbit it will be there in the earth's orbit it will not simply come back so a sub orbital rocket is more like throwing a ball up in the air it will go up it will touch some space and then it will come back but here in a fully orbital rocket it is going to orbit the earth so this is a difference between the sub orbital rocket and an orbital rocket 
and then I also told you that this is solid fuel. It is going to be run by solid fuels, solid fuels which means it is going to be a little difficult to maneuver this thing because it is going to be run on solid fuels, it is not going to be run on liquid fuels for now. So it's solid fueled and it's three staged. It is going to leave the Earth's, uh, it is going to reach the Earth's orbit in three stages, initial liftoff, then continued acceleration and finally it is going to reach the Earth's orbit. So it is three staged, it is solid fuel and it is going to carry small satellites into the low Earth orbit. This is everything that you need to know about Vikram 1 and this is a significant move for India because now the private players are showcasing their skills in a more appropriate manner, in a more advanced manner and ISRO can majorly focus on doing deep research and a proper participation and collaboration between ISRO and these private players is being seen which is going to help us achieve a lot of things in the space sector. So that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the discussion. Now let us look at a practice question for prelims. With reference to Vikram 1, recently in the news, consider the following statements. 1. It is India's first privately built orbital rocket developed by Skyroot Aerospace. 2. Vikram 1 is designed primarily to launch small satellites into low Earth orbit. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. Or D. Neither 1 nor 2. Please provide your answers in the comments section and we will meet in a new video. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.